The Metropolitan Cathedral of St. Vitus, Wenceslaus and Adalbert is a Roman Catholic Metropolitan Cathedral in Prague, the seat of the Archbishop of Prague, up to 1997. The cathedral was dedicated only to St. Vitus, and is still commonly named only as St. Vitus Cathedral. This cathedral is an excellent example of Gothic architecture and is the biggest and most important church in the country. Located within Prague Castle and containing the tombs of many Bohemian kings and Holy Roman emperors, the cathedral is under the ownership of the Czech government as part of the Prague Castle complex. Cathedral dimensions are 124 times 60 meters, the main tower is 96.5 meters high, front tower is 82 meters, arch height 33.2 meters. The current cathedral is the third of a series of religious buildings at a site, all dedicated to St. Vitus. The first church was an early Romanesque rotunda founded by Wenceslaus I. Duke of Bohemia in 930, this patron saint was chosen because Wenceslaus had acquired a holy relic, the arm of St. Vitus, from Emperor Henry I. It is also possible that Wenceslaus, wanting to convert his subjects to Christianity more easily, chose a saint whose name sounds very much like the name of Slavic solar deity Svantovit, two religious populations. The increasing Christian and decreasing pagan community lived simultaneously in Prague Castle at least until the 11th century, in the year 1060, as the Bishopric of Prague was founded. Prince Svitine F. II embarked on building a more spacious church, as it became clear the existing rotunda was too small to accommodate the faithful. A much larger and more representative Romanesque basilica was built in its spot, though still not completely reconstructed. Most experts agree it was a triple-aisled basilica with two choirs and a pair of towers connected to the western transept. The design of the cathedral nods to Romanesque architecture of the Holy Roman Empire, most notably to the Abbey Church in Hildesheim and the Spire Cathedral. The southern apse of the rotunda was incorporated into the eastern transept of the new church because it housed the tomb of St. Wenceslaus, who had by now become the patron saint of the Czech princes. A bishop's mansion was also built south of the new church, and was considerably enlarged and extended in the mid-12th century, the Cathedral of St. Vitus had a tremendous influence on the development of late Gothic style characteristic for Central Europe, members of Parla Workshop, and indeed, the Parla clan designed numerous churches and buildings across Central Europe. More notable examples include Stephensdom Cathedral in Vienna, Strasbourg Cathedral, Church of St. Marco in Zagreb and the Church of St. Barbara in Kutna Hora, also in Czech Republic regional Gothic styles of Slovenia, Northern Croatia, Austria, Czech Republic, and Southern Germany were all heavily influenced by parlor design. Yeah, I'm not